Hi everyone, so when we're playing a doubles match, it's really important to maintain our own kind of level of focus and be, you know, what people call mentally tough ourselves. But one of the other things that's just as important is being able to kind of break down our opponent um, from a mental perspective. So really get them frustrated on the court. And that's what I want to go over here today. So I've got three ways that we will be able to break down our opponent mentally get them frustrated, and kind of get them out of the match. Um, we've all had matches before where our opponent checks out maybe late in the first set or early second set, um, and we have to make sure we kind of keep that pressure on them so that they don't get back into the match. So uh, let's get into it. The first way that we will uh, break down our opponents mentally is we have to be unpredictable on the court. Uh, so there's a few different ways we can do that. The first way is we can move at the net. So a lot of people move at the net uh, backwards and forwards, but they don't move side to side as much. So what I mean by that is, of course, poaching, but we can also fake. We can pinch and give up a little bit of the alley. And then also changing our timing on all of that. So one point, maybe I'll poach super early and give them the whole line. And then the next point, I might wait till the last second and poach and cut off that cross court ball. So really changing it up can frustrate the opponent, uh, especially the, the returner when your partner is serving. So moving at the net unpredictably, laterally, really focus on that. Next is changing serving formations. So if you're up against a good team, eventually, if you're just playing conventional the whole time, eventually they're going to get into a rhythm on your serve. And one of the best things you can do rather than trying to you know, change your serve, which, which is really difficult to do in a match, is just change your formation. So try out I formation and Australian formation to give them a different look. Uh, returning is one of my personal strengths, and when people do that against me, you know, I'll start to get into a rhythm in a second set, and when I see that, uh, I have to make an adjustment, and it's a lot more difficult. So changing our serving formation is a good way to stay unpredictable. And then this is one a lot of people don't use, uh, hit a different ball. So usually you'll get into those cross court rallies or something like that. And what you'll do is you'll just hit the same forehand over and over with the same spin, the same height over the net, the same depth, the same angle. Try changing some of that up. So hit one low, hard, flat one, and then the next one hit high top spin. Uh, and then the next one maybe hit a chip and come in behind it. Changing that up will really frustrate the opponents. And the key here is we don't want them getting into a rhythm. This especially is true against really good uh, doubles teams. We don't want them to get into a rhythm. And if we're giving them the same ball, giving them the same look on serves, and not moving very well at the net, you know, giving them that cross court shot, then they're going to be able to get into a rhythm. And that's gonna make it really difficult on us uh, to, to beat them strategically. All right, so the next thing you can do to really frustrate an opponent, uh, try this out for one game. Try just charging the net. So a lot of players will hit their volleys from three feet behind the net. Try taking a few steps in and just get right on top of the net for a few games and see what happens. Um, what I expect will happen, I know <clears throat> this happens when people do it against me, your opponent's gonna miss more. So when I see somebody right on top of the net, I, I try not to do it, but you just can't help but swing a little harder, try to put a little more spin on it and dip it down at their feet a little harder, and you're inevitably going to miss more shots. So your opponent's going to miss more if they see you right on top of the net like that. So uh, try that out. Um, another thing you'll be able to do is, you know, if they don't miss, they get it over the net, you'll hit a lot of winners because you're right on top of the net, so it's so easy to hit those short angles or you know, smash it over the fence or whatever it might be. And a lot of those might even be shank winners, um, which really frustrates the opponent mentally. Uh, you know, I know when you're on top of the net like that, you don't have as much time. So you might not hit every ball super clean, but because you're on top of the net, you'll shank one that'll kind of dribble over the net and, and they won't be able to get to it. And that really, really frustrates people. Um, so uh, you know, that's a great way to really get in their head and, and frustrate them. Uh, and then they're going to lob. Uh, there's no way around it. When they see you on top of the net, most players will try to lob you. 
definitely, you know, talk with your partner, maybe have them cover it. Um, I would make them beat you with the lob first before you start to worry about it. Uh, odds are they'll either miss the first lob or they'll leave it short and then you'll have an overhead, which will frustrate them. You know, I know when I lob and leave it short, my opponent smashes an overhead on us. That's one of the most frustrating times uh, in a tennis match for me. So um, they're going to lob, but make them beat you a few times before you uh, make any adjustments there. Uh, the next thing is, um, this is kind of encompasses the first two, but making your opponent miss is the best thing you can do in doubles to uh, frustrate them and to, to kind of break them down mentally. Um, a lot of this has to do with making them miss, but uh, if you look at the data, most doubles points end in a unforced or a forced error, not a winner. So if we can focus on hitting high percentage cross court shots, while adjusting, you know, hitting different balls and adjusting our formations and moving at the net, uh, we'll force a lot more misses than uh, we would otherwise going down the line for a winner uh, and things like that. Another thing we want to focus on is really staying observant on the court and see what they miss and then just give them more of those. So if I am serving and I serve a, an off pace uh, kick serve to somebody's backhand, I see them miss it. The next three points, I'm going to go to their backhand and maybe I'll vary the pace and the spin and, and things like that. Maybe I'll go wide on one, but then into their body on another. Um, but if we can observe what they're missing, really kind of ask yourself after each point, okay, how did that point end? Can I replicate that? Um, and just give them more of those, give them more of uh, their weaknesses here. Just relentlessly attack their weakness and they will miss more and that's going to, that's much more frustrating uh, missing a shot than it is you know, having a winner hit against you. So uh, these are three things I like to do to uh, kind of break my opponent down mentally to get them out of the match and, and off the court. Uh, if you have any others, comment below and let me know. I would love to hear from you and I will talk to you soon.